Wow, it is getting hot, Ramona. Summer is just around the corner. What does summer mean to you? I don't know. It's a lot of things, eh? Um, the beach, cocktails, girlfriends, bikinis. It means exactly the same to me. Okay, we've got so much in common. Yes, we do. Bikinis, eh? Bikinis topless? Topless? Yeah, topless. Are you going to go topless on Ignition GT? Today I am, yeah. Do you want to see? I'm your new biggest fan. <laughs> Let's do this. Is that it? That's cheating, man. With all that talk of bikinis and cocktails, it's no wonder Marius and Ramona forgot the most important thing about summer. A convertible, of course. On sale since May this year, the 370Z Roadster still turns heads wherever it goes. And there's nothing dated about its performance either. 0 to 100 will take you 5.9 seconds. And a top speed of 250 k's an hour is enough to destroy any designer hairdo. But what did our two topless testers think? I'm uh, very impressed with your idea of topless. This is fantastic. I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> But what a way to be cruising heading into summer, especially with our amazing climate. Eh? This is uh, this is the ultimate top it's driving. Um, I think it's the ultimate fashion accessory for summer as well. Uh, yeah. All you need is hats and sunblock. Yeah, if you've got a bald spot, which you don't have, you need to be putting on a, a serious amount of sunblock and cap. But driving this thing, I mean, it is still, it's still a Z, man. It's like 245 kilowatts of absolute 3.7 litre v6 grunt still a thrill car to drive we know what a z always stands for i'm just worried though that people might start thinking the z's getting soft you, you were talking to me off camera earlier about the ad campaign yeah i think like we're talking about the machoism surrounding the z range but i think like this ad campaign in particular as a female i felt that it's more um targeted at me because their tagline is hot couture yeah, our guys yes. got no idea what hot couture or hot couture mean. So I see your point. They're kind of almost saying that if you want the real driving thrill, go for the coupe. And if you want to kind of tone things down a bit and possibly appeal to the female market as well, you've got the option of uh, of going the roadster route. And also like just the overall appeal of the shape and the dynamics of the car. Very, very, very good, very sexy, very hot. As summer transport goes, the 370 Roadster has all the right moves in all the right places. But is that enough to make it a true Z car? We make our way to Swartkorp's Raceway to chat to the owners themselves. The car as such, but I think the enthusiasm, the enthusiasm about the car. You know, it's not only the owners that love the car, but it's, it's, a, it's a general public that loves the car as well. The Z is an iconic brand. Uh, it's enthusiasts mainly that uh, buy the Z. Um, and uh, it's a camaraderie between the guys. It's not about the, 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 the car as such, but the whole look and feel, and the whole heritage of the car. The Z lineage started with this car, the 240Z of 1969. Conceived as Japan's answer to the more expensive European sports cars, the Fair Lady Z, as it was also known, closely resembled the Jaguar E-Type's formula of straight-six power, all-independent suspension and fastback styling. Five years later, it was succeeded by the 260Z, at which time this roomier 2 plus 2 version was also added to the range. The 80s saw the introduction of the ZX line, which culminated in the formidable 300ZX of 1989. Its twin-turbo V6 was good for 224 kilowatts and propelled the car to 100 kilometers an hour in under six seconds. In 2003, the legendary Z badge was reintroduced on the 350Z, a favorite of gamers and auto tuners the world over. Well, the engine's really, I mean, it's really understressed in stock form. I mean, you can do quite a lot with that thing, um, just with plonking on a turbo and doing bits and bobs. But also the handling is great. The drivetrain can take, I mean, those things can take a thousand horsepower. Uh, the gearboxes are rock solid. And it's a car that you can drive every day. You can take it out for a breakfast run or you can drive with it every day. Usability remains a standout feature on the 370Z, especially when it comes to the interior. All the controls fall easily to hand and the fit and finish are excellent. Of course, it isn't perfect. The seven-speed auto can be a bit sluggish. The seats don't flip forward in one movement and the long sloping bonnet limits visibility from the cockpit. But none of this will bother you if you're hankering after a Z car. The first time I saw one in that was in 74. Up to now, I always wanted one. So 
I would love to have the whole range if I had the money. <laughs> It's this sort of desirability that makes the 370Z seem worth its 600,000 rand asking price. And as Marius and Ramona would tell you, it's so much fun to drive that it's easy to forget the sunscreen. It might be a fashion accessory, but for some it will always remain in style.